Good morning, everyone. Uh, welcome to Masa English Choir Time. Uh, we just uh, started from this month. Uh, just uh, we uh, we do uh, English Choir Time with uh, uh, Masa, uh, so which is uh, this is a book for designed for and uh, Hebrew and ori uh, Greek and original language in order to read it uh, every day. But however, uh, there is uh, difficulties so. English will be a medium to uh, interpret or maybe uh, translate uh, into a different language. So today our text is uh, Second Chronicles, yeah, chapter four, six through eleven. Let's uh, look at the text. As you know, every day and then here, yeah, bottom is a K Z, yeah. Z G version, yeah, King James version, uh, a little, uh, you know, changed one. All right, let's let's read it first. He also made a ten basins in which to wash, and set five on the south side and five on the north side. In these, they were to rinse off what was what was uh, used for the burnt offering, and the sea was the for uh, the priest. To wash in. Uh, verse 7. And he made the ten golden lampstands as uh, prescribed and set them in the temple, five on on the south side and the five on the north. Verse 8. He also made the ten tables and placed them in the temple, five on the south side and five on the north. And he made a hundred basins of gold. Verse 9, he made the court of a priest and the great court and the doors for the court and overlaid their doors with bronze. Verse 10, and he set the sea at the southeast corner of the house. Verse 11, Hiram also made the pots and shovels and the basins. So Hiram finished the work that he did for King Solomon on the house of God. All right, and uh, we'll see different version. Uh, yes, uh, V version upper there. Verse six from v verse six here. Let's see. Here. He also made a ten basins in which to wash, and five uh, set five on the on sa uh, south side and five on north side. In this they were to rinse off what is used for burnt offering, and the sea was for the priest to wash in. And he made the ten golden lampstands and prescribed, and set them in the temple, five on the south side and five on the north. Uh, he also made the ten tables and placed them in the temple, five on the south side side and five on the north and he made a hundred basins of gold he made the court court of the priest and the great court and the doors for the court and and overlaid their doors with bronze and he set the sea at the southeast corner of the, of the house Hiram also made the pots and the shovels and the basin. So Hiram finished the work that he did for King Solomon on the house of God. Uh, translation. Uh, 그래서 그는 uh, 여기 만들었다 만들었다가 많아요. Made, made, made. 십절만 빼고 made. 그래서, 그래서 히브리어 원문에도 아, 야스 만들었다. 굉장히 만들었던 걸 많이 이야기하죠. 뭘 만들었어요? Ten golden lamps. 열 개의 어, 황금 그 등잔 등잔 때 만들었죠. 다섯 개 다섯 개 놔두고요. 또 텐트 테이블에서 상을 열 개를 만들었어요. 성전에 다섯 다섯 개 노르스 남쪽 북쪽 그렇게 놨고 그리고 또이 어, 어, 제사장들을 위한 코트 어, 뜰을 만들었어요. 예, 그리고 문도 만들고 거기에 에, 어, 브론즈 동으로 그렇게 입혔고요. 그리고 또 바다도 만들었어요. 그래서 그 집, 어, 사우시스터 동남쪽에 두었고. 그리고 히람은 또 그릇과, 그리고 삽과 베센스, 에, 그릇들을 만들어가지고 그 모든 일들을 솔로몬의 왕, 어, 특별히 하나님 성전을 위한 일들을 마쳤다. 그렇게 돼 있어요. 해석은 뭐 그냥 이러면 쉽고요. Easy. Alright.
All right. Uh, uh, what does it uh, really uh, text say about? If you look at and there's so many uh, made, you know, verb, uh, uh, you know, uh, you you may see that uh, very em emphasizing uh, verb in Hebrew, same. He made, he made, he made, uh, except one verse uh, talking about all he made. So this uh, this t story is talking about making something. So what did they make uh, in here? And uh, if you look at verse six, they made they made uh, they made uh, ten laborers. You know, is uh, like a wa washy basin like that, and ten of them. You know? And then uh, to the south and to the north, five each. And then verse seven, if you look at that, and uh, ten lampstands, yeah, gold uh, lampstand, ten of them. So and then uh, if you look at uh, verse eight, talking about ten tables. So uh, when I read it, what does it mean? So when I read it, it emphasizing and they <clears throat> they are making more than ten times. When you think about you know tab a tabernacle in the times of uh, uh, Exodus, you re uh, you just uh, think about it, and they have uh, only one. So do you know what's the name when you know they enter the tabernacle? There is a mizbeach, which is a is a Hebrew word. Uh, the you know the burnt you know place and then also basin you know in order to lay levers you know in order to wash it and uh, when you enter the holy of holies there are you know tables and then also there was lampstand and also there was a uh, uh, you know scent uh, uh, you know a burning scent like that and then there is a uh, inside, uh, yeah, yeah, in an arc, you know, in an arc, you know, you two step, uh, step, and there, and uh, two tablets there, ten commands, something like that. So uh, this text is really talking about uh, the Temple of Solomon is uh, they are designed for the ten times. Uh, then I think uh, uh, you know tabernacle because we we can understand that because they made more than tens, you know. So tenfold, you know, ten times they try to make it. So lever, lever, like a watch and basins. If you look at verse six, they made a ten. Also verse seven and the ten lampstands, you know, more than uh, they made a mo uh, ten times, a tenfold. And also verse eight, a tables also tenfolds, you know, ten of them. So what does a really text say? Uh, they want to make a bigger and great and. Uh, you know, try to make a really a magnific magnificent, you know, magnificent uh, uh, things they wanna uh, do it. You know, they they wanna do real great work like that. And we can see through the meaning uh, from the text, right? And then look at the, and then uh, Huram and the king of uh, yeah uh, Tyre Tyre uh, Tyre he made so many uh, you know components. In the temple, and uh, especially pot and shovel and uh, ceremonial crater like that, all things he made. It. All right, this is the text they're really talking about. All right, how do you apply this text today? So, uh, in a temple, we have uh, so many things, uh, elements, and there, and then uh, the, even though the temple or, already, I just uh, emphasize so much, we are the temple of God, and the people of God is a. Uh, Really representing real temple of the uh, of God, yeah, right. As Jesus indicated, right. So if that case, and uh, we should uh, uh, do not think about only capacity, only how much bigger is that. So many people uh, just are focusing on the how much you know bigger, how much you know great like that. Yeah, church. Uh, we can make a church building bigger than that user because of uses. Yeah. So many people get together. They need a more bigger room, a wider space. Yeah, they, we need that. Uh, this is a similar situation, you know. So they they try to make a tenfold, you know, ten times bigger than that. So we we, we just uh, imagine, suppose, you know, they have a ten, uh, more than ten kiyoro, yeah, uh, wash basins. They had a ten lamp stands. They have uh, like uh, ten tables. Uh, as uh, users, so they had uh, more than tenfold everything, you know, uh, comparing to especially uh, tabernacle in the times of uh, 
Exodus, right? So they made it really great. And then they just uh, finished all the work and uh, according to verse 11. All right. Today, application. Now, first of all, uh, it doesn't matter how bigger uh, it, it, is, it, is it, you know, it doesn't matter. So we should do our task and uh, our mission. So our mission is the same. The mission of a temple is that uh, really sacrificing everything to God and have a worship and service like that. So, uh, same thing. The church is a uh, church. Uh, you know, the uses of church is the same. The church building is the same. So we should live uh, like a sacrificial life, as uh, Romans chapter twelve one over uh, two talking about, and just uh, sacrificed as a living sacrifice. Yeah, you know, just offer yourselves as a living sacrifice. It's our life should be living sacrifices like like that you know so only elements uh, uh, themselves not enough so any components in there in a temple more than 10 times tenfold it doesn't mean anything so how much bigger how 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 great you know capacity uh, they are it doesn't matter really the you know thing is the main thing is uh, the uses and the purpose and task and mission you know duty it's all kind of thing we should do. So the task of the temple is the design for the you know service for God. The purpose is the same. So we should live for God, and we are the. If you confess you are to be temple, we should live for the life for the you know God Himself. So don't just spend your life lives and waste your lives. So many people just waiting. Uh, wasting it. All right. Oh, just I want to indicate it. So today, uh, many people want to just uh, try to make it bigger and uh, make a bigger uh, ministry. It's good. But you remember, and uh, right now, what do you have right now? What does it really uh, the Solomon uh, leave uh, to us? You know, nothing. And uh, the Temple of Solomon and uh, everything was gone. Why? Because uh, you know invaded and uh, intrusion and then just uh, they got a uh, attack from other country. So even though we just build uh, enough and then just uh, try to memorize uh, so many things, uh, it will fade away. So only in a memory we have that in a book we can see that. So what's the big deal then? So it doesn't matter it, how much you make a or make a big or great. It doesn't matter. We just uh, try to pursue the, the essence element of the you know the uh, ontological uh, the purpose of the temple what is that so we are the temple so we sh we should seek the real purpose uh, for the building the temple of God how bigger is it enough it doesn't matter uh, it's not according to the size you know so you are the temple of God so uh, it doesn't matter how much you live uh, five talents you we just uh, own uh, two talents one talent it doesn't matter just we bear uh, fruits and then just uh, give a witness to God we should uh, live for as the you know work for the the temple of God so uh, the kiyora which is uh, is a design for the cleaning up and the menorah which is a lamp stand to uh, shine you know shine through to make a light uh, in, in light uh, the world so we are the light of God because uh, Jesus told us he is the, the light you know so we should uh, shine through his light to the whole world and then also he prepared himself uh, as a bread and table so same thing we should uh, give uh, other people to bread you know the uh, the bread of life we should witness the you know the, to the people about the the bread of life who is a uh, Christ you know they share the gospel like that so right so we can apply so many things from the te temple and tabernacle and uh, which is uh, the reality is uh, Jesus Christ so today is same thing application is so important I try to apply uh, from the text all right and have a nice uh, day and then always uh, try to apply uh, from the text uh, to your life all right have a good day and uh, by the way, besides, so many people uh, are having uh, difficulties because of flooding and uh, heavy rain, especially south, 
uh, area, Busan and uh, all uh, part of uh, area, and uh, they are just uh, struggling difficulties and because of uh, not working electricity and also what is not coming uh, up so it's just uh, having a lot of a uh, problem so I just encourage with, with that and the severe difficulties will be gone away soon so uh, just uh, enduring hanging hanging in there and uh, the love of God always with us all right have a nice day